The world was different that day. The economy was booming, 401ks were solid, and if asked, 8 out of 10 Americans wouldn't be able to define the word jihad. On that day, something happened that changed everything. That day was a Tuesday. For most of us, our only connection to the events of that day was what we saw on television. However, we are all connected and that we all have a place. For some of us, it's a spot on the highway. For others, it's in an office. Or at coffee with a friend. It's the place we will never forget. The place where we watched it happen on that day. So here we are, many days later, still hurt, still angry, still trying to understand why. 1 Corinthians 13 explains that we don't see things clearly right now. In essence, we just won't be able to understand in this lifetime things like what happened on that day. However, it goes on to say that one day we will see all things clearly. But until that day comes, we have three things to embrace to help us in our reconciliation. Faith in God, unswerving hope, and love. And the greatest of the three is love. Through the shock and the horror, something else happened on that day. Although the evil intentions appeared to be a success, our country embraced the complete opposite of what was intended. Instead of division, there was unity. Instead of confusion, there was clarity. And instead of falling apart, we banded together. But then again, that's the way one nation under God will always respond.